What's going on, my beautiful people? Let's talk about proof of work tokens because they are all the buzz in the mining community. I mean, that was a joke because if, if it, it wasn't proof of work, you wouldn't be able to mine it. Anyway, we are talking about three big ones today. We're talking about Kadena. We're going to go over a little bit of Caspa as well as Nexa. And the reason I'm laying out three that are kind of competitors to one another is because I think they have a lot more in common than most people realize. And it's to our benefit because if you can see the patterns if you can see what's happening we can take advantage of these opportunities and kind of jump in there when or before things kind of explode and i'm going to lay this out dana first cast a second and next a third and the reason is that that's the order that they were launched in and Kadena launched early 2018 and i want to make sure you guys understand what happened since then and where the coin finds itself today it's Pretty cool stuff because they follow a very similar pattern. And the only thing I ask of you is smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, leave a comment down below. What I wanna know is out of these three, what are you most excited about? Which token are you in for? Doesn't mean it has to be one. It can be in multiple things, just like I'm in all three. But it's a matter of where do you see the biggest opportunity? And I'm gonna try to give you a little bit of alpha and things that I've seen myself, so you can try to profit on these things as well. But it's never financial advice, just some random dude on YouTube telling you what he's doing and how is he trying, you know, trying to take advantage of the opportunities he sees. So maybe if you wanna seize the opportunities that I am too, oh, well, let's go to town and, you know, make money together. But let's start with Kadena. Early 2018, they went out and launched their token. People could mine it with CPUs and GPUs, then FPGA, then ASIC. So let's fast forward to the ASIC because it's been a little while. So late 2021, December, I put out a fun little video where I talked about the most profitable crypto miner in 2021. And it was this guy right here, um, which now is uh, pointless and garbage because it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not even worth me plugging it in, especially with the cost of my electricity. But it was mining $350 every single day. Fast forward to January 2023. Now we have a new development. And instead of just, you know, the $350 that I just talked about, well, now we're talking about $1,500 with the launch of the Bitmain Ant Miner KA3. And it's like, whoa, this is amazing. This is incredible. But it was worth it. And it was that much money when it launched. The profitability has continuously gone down. And again, this is the same pattern that you're going to see with different tokens as well, because the more people that are mining it, well, it's going to be more difficult and your rewards are going to go down. So jumping over to what does that even look like? Well, it looks like this. This is a difficulty for Kadena. And down here, we're looking at, you know, October 2022. And now we're all the way up here um, in April. You can see that it is a big difference. So over two times the difficulty we're looking at right now um getting close to that three times as hard as it used to be back in you know late 2022 it's just blown up because bitmain put out this freaking incredible miner that outperforms everything else out there and that's a very common trend when it comes to these coins whenever somebody puts out a better product the last one becomes a paperweight and it's unfortunate, but it is just how it works. Let me take it a step further and let's take a look at coin market cap real quick for Kadena. And this is year to date. And this is why some people are a little upset as far as the price action, like, well, the price action doesn't match the difficulty or anything else. I understand. Now, since Kadena is the oldest one that I'm talking about today, I do want to point a few things out. I'll go all here so we can see. We saw this gigantic pump to over 20 bucks. Um, and this was in late 2021 which was when that bull market was, you know, had just exploded. So of course, things are gonna explode and go out of proportion. Now people are saying, well, it's only about around a dollar and it stays around there. Yes, it is. And I'm okay with that as long as there's a plan for the future. Because what it boils down to is there is no reason for anyone to create a blockchain, create a DAG, create anything, unless there is a purpose behind it. And when I say purpose, I mean, things being built on it and that seems to be where we find Kadena today they are supporting builders they're supporting people who are building on this infrastructure and they're doing a decent job at it they're attracting some good people they've also let some good people go and i'm not here to talk politics about it all but i want you to understand that when you get to this point where the, blo the, the blockchain has been around for a couple of years well you better put some cool stuff on it otherwise you're going to lose momentum and there's no way you're going to be able to recover in this type of market so 
here is the Kadena website. And we can see that they talk about empowering builders for innovation. This is exactly where they are at with things. And if you go on under the Kadena ecosystem portion of it, shout out to the guys at Koala Wallet and Eucalyptus Labs doing their thing over there with Kadena ecosystem. But there are multiple projects that are being built on it. Crank, if you guys haven't checked out Crank, Crank is definitely a good one to check out. Um, super profitable. You can even use your old helium miners. But that's where they're at. They are looking at expansion they're looking at building they're looking at bringing builders to this ecosystem because well what's the point of mining something that doesn't have anything on there so that's the idea but remember that pattern i told you cpu gpu fpga asic and this is important to understand because that is where we find ourselves um today with caspa yes that's right caspa now caspa launched in november of 2021 which was like at the peak of everything that was happening in this space and it just you know kind of hang out there for a little bit but it's it's doing okay right now and a lot of good people made good money um we had son of attack was big in caspa mined a lot of it definitely made it made out really well with this token now why am I bringing this one up? Is it even a blockchain? I don't know. They call it a the the world's first block DAG. Um, a DAG is basically similar to a blockchain, but in the sense that it's it can work parallel, where a block has to confirm different transactions, but it doesn't have to confirm one after the other exactly the same way. Um, it allows for instant transaction. It's it's pretty cool tech. Not gonna lie. Um, there's a lot more to it. I'm not gonna have time to cover all of that in this video. Otherwise, you guys are not gonna click on it and not gonna hit the like or subscribe or even leave that comment down below. But I digress. Let's keep going. Where is Caspa today? Caspa today is in a very different place than it used to be because uh, an ASIC came out. That's right. An ASIC miner for Caspa came out, and this is it right here. Um, the K10, and we're looking at about 12 bucks a day with this miner, and this is according to Red Panda Mining. Totally recommend this channel. Good dude knows the stuff, but it's already outdated because they've come out or are coming out with something that, you know, with another new miner, a new ASIC miner for Caspa that is the KS2. It's 30 grand and it mines $800 a day. But I want to remind everybody this is not a scam, but something that's very speculative. If you buy these devices, you better make sure that you're getting them in a timely fashion. Otherwise, your profitability goes way down. So is it worth $30,000 at this right the second? Absolutely, it's worth that much. By the time you get it, I can't say it will be worth the same amount because the network difficulty continues to go up. Who wants to have to compete with other miners? And if we take a look at Casper, we can see the token price. It has done pretty decently um, over the last little bit here. And, uh, and then it came crashing down. It's like, oh, no, what is going on here? Well, this up and down here is not that much fluctuation. It's basically the same thing that happened here from 13 cents then back down to 10 cents. It, it, you got to put things into perspective, right? So if you zoom in to different areas, it kind of gives you a little bit better perspective as far as what's going on. What I can tell you, look at that. Like, that's a big dip right there. Like, oh, that looks terrible perspective is everything so if you zoom in and you kind of take a look at the data in different ways it, you're gonna go oh wait it's not as bad as i thought but all in all what i want to tell you about caspa is that you guys got to be careful because take a look at the network difficulty it's starting to climb up like crazy and the, having these miners come online it's only going to make it more difficult for the average miner but let's keep going because the next thing i want to tell you guys about is nexa and i do like what nexa is doing um but just make sure we're all on the same page you guys know what you know cpus are that's what the processor in your computer gpus they're the ones that great graphics on your on your computer they're really good at solving um you know more complex um type of data which is why you know you go from cpu mining to gpu mining and then you get to the fpga now field programmable gate array what that is is just a big old you know it's not even a chip it's like a chip of chips basically you can say set things on and off so those programmable gates you get to program the chip to do whatever you want it to do in this case and solve a specific algorithm now that is actually the first step to getting an asic and when i say getting an asic i'm talking about creating an asic because an asic is the application specific integrated circuit meaning that all the on on and offs that you set on that field programmable array now you're hard coding that info onto a chip, which makes it more 
I don't want to say robust, but it makes it more reliable. Not only that, it makes it so that that chip can only mine one thing, one algorithm. And that is the point that I want to explain to you guys within Nexa. And this is big. And this is where I think there is a lot of upside potential. Here we are. Uh, Nexa, digital economy with capacity for all. Again, going back to the trilemma, they are all trying to solve this thing. They're all saying they can they can handle it. Um, you know, this layer one is can handle over 10 billion transactions per day. This is smart. They mean it per day instead of like per second. That way the number looks bigger. Good job, guys. Great marketing over there. But I digress again. What I want to tell you guys about this is that Nexica is only, you know, it's only mineable with a GPU. It, there are no ASICs out there. There are no FPGAs out there, but that is coming and they've announced that that is coming. So what do I want to share with you all? Mine things that you can mine things that are profitable now. And I will also tell you something that's very, very not popular. So here's an unpopular opinion that I think everyone should be aware of. When you don't have an ASIC, when you don't have an FPGA and you don't have dedicated miners to your token, you have no loyalty. Therefore, you don't have a secure, decentralized app, you know, blockchain. It's just it doesn't work that way. And I have proof. The proof is in the pudding, right? So take a look at this here. Um, this is minor stat for Nexa. Look at the difficulty. So we started climbing, it dipped, then it came back up, and now it's dipping again. A network with ASICs does not dip this way because they are they tend to be profitable longer. But when you have a token that is just a GPU mineable token, people will flock to the thing that makes the most sense now. And just so you guys know that I'm not making this up, take a look at Radiant. Radiant, same setup. We peaked up here as far as difficulty, and now it's coming crash. It's just coming down because people are mining different things. People are utilizing their GPUs for different functions. Unless there is a, a specific, you know, device for you to mine a token, you're going to get the wishy wash people that come in and out to mine it, which are not as reliable as your ASIC miners who, you know, really spend money and want to support a token long term and want to mine that token long term. But I know I just brought up Radiant, which wasn't even part of this, but it's important to understand. And here's why I'm saying Radiant. Um, this is what to mine. So Nexus sitting at about 34 cents as far as profitability goes. If you're looking at a 10 cent um, cost to mine and so is Radiant. So both of these tokens are, you know, along the same lines when it comes to mining profitability. And I'm so sorry this is super small on your screen, but let's take a look at the roadmap. And this is a big thing for Nexa. So on their roadmap, they talk about what they're looking to do. And I'm just going to focus on the next steps, late 2022, mid 2023. And this is why I see a lot of a great upside potential. They have this gigablock scaling phase two. Look at that FPGA miner. So the profitability for GPU miners is going to go away as soon as more FPGA miners comes in. Now, I'm really excited to see what they do here, but I am definitely mining Nexa. And it's the thing that I'm putting my GPU to work on right now, because again, Caspa is pretty cool, but it's not going to be profitable with their GPUs any longer when you have all these ASICs and FPGA miners coming into play. So I am not chasing something. I'm just making sure I'm mining what's most profitable. And at the end of the day, if I see great potential of blockchains when it comes to ASICs, I will 100% spend money to get an ASIC and put it somewhere because I can't put it in my house because there's it's too expensive to, to mine here because of the stupid electricity. But it is what it is. I just want you guys to have an, that understanding that there is a pattern to these things. And if I were, you know, a betting man, I would put my money on next. Well, I am putting my money on next, actually, on Mexi um, action that Mexi that CEO. You guys can sign up there as well. So even if you're not mining, you can get to buy the token. Same thing with Caspa. I do see great upside potential with Caspa and Cadena. And yeah, I'll leave to this after the credits. But you guys are fantastic. And I just want to give you a little bit of info and help you understand where this market is today. So thank you all so much. And I'm going to cut it here. And if you guys have any questions, leave it down below. But I do want to hear from you guys. Which one of these three tokens are you guys most excited about? Let me know in the comments below. And I would love to to continue this conversation on other social media platforms and i'll see you guys on the next video take care
All right, that ending was a little bit rushed, but it's because I actually just want to give you guys a little bit of insight as far as what's happening here. But Dana, I can tell you right now, yeah, people are pissed about the price. It's a dollar all the time. It's, you know, fluctuating between 90 cents and a dollar, and it doesn't get over that hump. What I have seen on the back end that I can tell you is that there's a ton of marketing efforts going on from the Cadena team. And this is not me tooting anybody's horn. Nobody's like paying me, reaching out to, to pay me the sponsored, you know, video sponsored by by me. So all I'm saying is that I see good potential for what's about to happen within the Cadena ecosystem, especially because of the projects that are on there that are building um, crank being definitely the highlight of all of it. Um, there is definitely more opportunity on that blockchain itself for other great things to be created and i will be letting you guys know how to get you know into mining um Kadena easily um with an nft you guys know what i'm talking about I'll, I'll get to it in another video for sure but i do like caspa caspa has been solid and has provided a lot of pretty decent returns for everybody but i i i'm sticking with my nexa thing man um nexa has a lot of upside potential um especially with the way they're kind of rolling things out they are working and they are building an active community around this thing, which is really exciting. So I'm in all three. Like I said, it's not a matter of picking favorites, but as far as upside potential, I do see Nexa as being the big one, at least short term. And I do want to let you all know that Kadena is, you know, bound to do something because they are, you know, spending marketing dollars or at least putting a big effort on marketing. Um, I've seen it trending in multiple places. so. Keep an eye out for it because it's good stuff. You guys are awesome and I will see you on the next video. Have a great one.